Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 hidden iPhone tricks you didn't know. So these are a few really useful and sometimes just really cool iPhone tricks that most people don't know about, including some that might just save your life. So be sure to like the video and subscribe and comment I subscribed and I will reply. So coming in at number 10 we have planes overhead. So this one is really cool and interesting and it's simple yet most people don't even know it exists. So I'm sure if you guys look up right now at the sky, you'll see at least one plane. Well, try asking Siri what aeroplanes are overhead right now and Siri won't just tell you what flights are overhead, it will also give you details about the planes like the altitude and even the angle of the plane. Well I don't know why you'd want to know that stuff but this is pretty cool because you can see what planes are on top of you guys right now and it doesn't just have to be where you are, you can say a specific location or a landmark like in this example the Grand Canyon and it'll tell you what planes are over the Grand Canyon right now. So yeah this isn't as useful as some of the other ones on this list but it is pretty cool and interesting. So coming up next we have custom vibrations. So if you guys want to be a rock star but you don't have any musical talent or an instrument, well as long as you have an iPhone you should be good. And that's because you can actually create custom vibrations with your iPhone. So it's like making your own ringtone but cooler. All you have to do is click vibration in accessibilities and then just tap here to create your very own vibration. And you can even assign certain vibrations to certain contacts so you can give some bad vibrations to ex-girlfriends or boyfriends and your boss so that you know not to pick up the phone and other better vibrations for your friends. So yeah guys, have fun with this awesome tool that barely any people know about. So coming up next we have impossible passwords. So this one is really good if you leave your phone lying around and you don't want your friends to find it, guess your password and then start messing with it. Or if your phone gets stolen and you don't want to give the guy who stole it any satisfaction. And I'm sure all of you guys know that most iPhones have a four digit code to unlock them and recently they've allowed you to make codes with six or even nine numbers. Well this is even better than any amount of numbers. So all you need to do is go into change password and then choose custom alphanumeric code. And most people just ignore this because I mean come on, who knows what alphanumeric even means. But when you press it, it brings up a keyboard and then you can type out your very own personalized password that nobody should be able to crack. Thank me later guys. So coming up next we have unlock any iPhone. So this one is a little dodgy and it's the only way that you can unlock an iPhone with no code. And this can even crack the custom passcode thing that I was talking about before. And this one is pretty complicated but I'm going to run through all of the steps. So first ask Siri what time it is and a clock should show up. Then press the clock and it should bring up the world clock app. Then go into timer and select what tone you want your timer to sound like. Then click buy more tones and you should be in the ringtone store. And then click the home button and you're in the iPhone without having to unlock it at all. And this seems to work sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. And it did work for me but then again I do have quite an old iOS so you're gonna have to try this out for yourself. And apparently you need to have touch recognition for this to work but I have an iPhone 5 without that and it still worked. So who knows guys, this one is pretty inconsistent but if you look up how to unlock an iPhone without a passcode on Google, you'll see a ton of people do do this successfully so maybe it's just luck. But coming up next we have new sentence. So this is a really small and simple trick but I use it every day and it's great when I'm talking to you guys on Twitter. So usually if you finish a sentence and you want to start a new one you have to put a full stop or a period mark if you're American and then you have to press the space bar and then the shift key to start a new sentence. And that's a lot of work right? Well okay not really but it does take four steps but with this trick you can do it in two. So when you're done writing your first sentence just press the period mark and then press the space bar twice and it instantly starts a new sentence with a capital letter. And this can be great for important emails or Twitter wars and text fights where you need to type fast. So coming up next we have shortcuts. So talking of tricks for typing faster or typing very repetitive things, well this one can really solve that problem. All you need to do is go into keyboard in settings and press shortcuts and then type in your phrase, for example thank you very much, and then type in your shortcut which would be TYVM. And then every time you type in TYVM it will change to thank you very much. And this one is really good if you want to say something long but you can't be bothered to type it all out. I mean just think about how many top 10s videos you could watch in the time you're going to save. But coming up next we have flashes. So this one is great if you guys want to turn your phone on silent mode in class but you still want to know when you get a notification and even if you don't turn your phone on silent this is still pretty cool so all you need to do is go into accessibilities in settings and then enable led flash for alerts and then every time you get a notification your phone's light will flash and then you'll never miss a text message again and this is also very good if you have your phone in a bag or in your pocket because the flash can actually go through most materials so you can still know if you get a notification but coming up next we have level. So if you're a handy kind of person then you're gonna love this. And I'm sure at one point in your life you've used a level to make sure things are straight like pictures on a wall. But I mean come on it's the 21st century nobody has an actual level anymore. So all you need to do to get one of these on your phone is open the compass app and then swipe the screen to the left to reveal the secret level. And then you can just turn your phone left and right to check the straightness of whatever you want. Just remember to take the case off your phone so that it's accurate otherwise you're gonna be making a lot of mistakes. And next up we have speech. So if you guys have dyslexia 
dyslexia, or maybe you're just lazy and you don't like reading, or maybe someone just sent you a text that looks like this, well then don't worry, because you don't have to read the whole thing. All you need to do is go into accessibility and settings, and then turn speak selection on, and then just highlight the text you want to read, and then click the arrow to show more options, and then you'll see something that says speak, and then when you press that, a Siri type thing will read out the whole text. And this is great for students who want to study notes, or you could use it as a free audio book. So yeah, this is a really useful life hack that I definitely need to start using. And that just about wraps up this video. Check out the poll in the top right corner and you guys can vote for the coolest trick. For me, it's the aeroplane one just because I found that so cool. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe.